Minji Chang. I'm the Executive Director of Collaboration and your host for Coffee Break. Today we're going to sit down and chat with our friend, artist, singer-songwriter, Jay Jin. Hi. Hello. How are you? I am doing wonderful. Welcome to LA. Thank you for huh. having me. Yeah. yeah, you've been here for how many days? Uh, I think about six days. Six days? Yeah, That's a yeah. lot of days in LA. It How's is. How's it treating you? Um, it's been great. Wrapped up uh, three shows and uh, just been taking a bunch of meetings and things and uh, meeting up with a lot of uh, fellow artists and musicians and creatives and uh, getting ready to leave at the end of this week for San Diego. Nice. Very nice. Um, this tour, it's, it's been part of your tour, right? Yeah. So we've, uh, I've kind of been doing something unique. I've been um, on tour with a few other artists um, okay. here on the West Coast, but Midway through, I took a break um, to go on a mini Europe tour. Uh, mini did, Europe tour? Mini Europe tour. Mini Europe tour, okay. Uh, did a show in London and then did a show in Paris, and that was absolutely amazing because it's the first time I was in Europe, but also uh, getting to play in Paris where people are just so passionate about music. It was unreal experience. It's a city of art. It was. Like, I love it there. I was very uh, inspired. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So how many shows did you do in London and in Paris? Uh, one each. Okay. Uh, one major one and then did a few little small things here and there. Um, but for the most part, yeah, the, the big culmination show was in Paris. Um, and that show was uh, amazing. You know, I had an opportunity to play with uh, a 10-person band backing me up. And we sold out in one week. It was about 300 folks. And just it was unreal experience. Just, That's amazing. Were yeah. you you were the headlining then or you were the yeah, other artists? Yeah, or? there were three, ma three main artists, two from the States and one from Paris. And, wow. Uh, and, and it was just amazing. I, I even had a, a bunch of folks come in from like even like an hour, hour and a half away. Uh, uh, I think just through Facebook and stuff, they had kind of heard about the show, and so that's incredible. Um, yeah, and and just to have people actually like singing along to your songs and stuff, that's a weird experience for me. So that's incredible. Uh, Europe loves music. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Really they love cool. you. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's that's definitely probably one for like the memoirs, right down definitely. the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I, it's amazing. Like I met you a few years ago mm -hmm. in DC when you're part of Collaboration DC, right, which right. was so much fun. Yeah, and and we have our. Uh, I want to bug you about it later, but we yeah. have our mutual friends and um, just seeing how much you've grown. Like it's just, it's been amazing through social media to see mm -hmm. all the things that you've been doing. Um, so that was what two years ago. Yeah, yeah, that? two years. What ago. Have you, what what amazing. happens? It's like, can you give us the summary of like the last couple of years you're doing your independent artist yeah. life? Yeah, yeah. So that been you like? know, it's been it's been a whirlwind. I mean, I, I've been a professional musician for about a year now, and prior to that, you know, I had been kind of going the career trajectory route. Um, was supposed to start an MD MBA program, uh, do like med school, business school, and then I became every Asian parent's worst nightmare <laughs> by walking away from that from and, that and, like and, you're going there and right. then you stop and just choose something completely risky and close to impossible but um the journey's been amazing i think the the uh where i attribute a lot of that is just this uh this willingness to stick to my autonomy and and hold control over uh the things that are creative and try to do things in my own way rather than kind of um aligning with industry or whatnot but uh it's just kind of finding that balance. And so, That's hard. Yeah, I, mean, I, I yeah. yeah, a year and a half ago, um, moved up to New York City, uh, got rid of all of my possessions, packed up two suitcases, and uh, it's been a journey. The past year in New York City, I've played almost 100 shows and just been grinding it out, like playing in subways, playing in venues, playing anywhere and everywhere I can, and just cultivating my art. And then it culminated in uh, the release of my debut album uh, in October of this past year. That is so, crazy. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, this is where the journey begins. So it's really just nothing, uh, you know, can't get ahead of myself. Just got to keep working hard. I feel like, well, to me, the way I'm going to look at it is like I was, I met you when your journey was really beginning because I feel like with every performance, you, you really do evolve in terms of your confidence mm -hmm. and skill and then conviction, right? right to right. like really go do, that's a really big leap. And I, I don't know, I can just think of a million different artists that I know off the top of my head that would be really scared. I mean, anybody would feel that fear, right. but how did you deal with that? Like diving partially into mm -hmm. an MD, MBA program, mm -hmm. you said? Right, yeah. And then switching gears, how did how did that go down? Um, you know, I think it's just a matter of uh, the fact that you get one life. And I know that sounds cliche, but I think a lot of my life story that has given me the conviction to do that is, uh, you know, my background as a, as a two-time survivor and um, little things that I've slowly been sharing uh, with individuals is this, uh, this uh, 
the fact that life is so transient mm -hmm. and uh, and tomorrow is not guaranteed. And right. for me, there are a lot of realities related to health that uh, have made that impact. And uh, it's made it easy to kind of say, you know what, what am I moved by? What am I most inspired by? What am I, uh, what do I feel like I've been born to do? Mm -hmm. And that's to, to create, to write, um, and to, to challenge individuals. And if they happen to be encouraged or inspired at the same time, great. But uh, at the end of the day, I think, you know, I don't really care what people think. I think I just, you know, I'm trying to do uh, what I feel called to do. Right. And, uh, and it's been an amazing journey, you know. I, I've had you. a lot of amazing people sent into my life to support me on this journey mm -hmm. and surround me in this journey. And so, yeah, I can't ask for some a better setup. You know? Well, you know, they say that, you know, when you follow your heart's true purpose, or it's like, it's a, it's a mix of the alchemist Hmm. and the law of attraction or the secret whatever but mm -hmm. it's you know the universe works in mm -hmm. con, you know with you yeah, it conspires conspires to, to make yeah. things happen which is really amazing so how old were you when you went through you know the all the health issues that kind of really right, right. shifted your focus and so perspective the first time that i was ill um at the age of 17 was when i was diagnosed with at the they considered a terminal illness mm -hmm. so they gave me two months to live and i actually underwent an experimental chemotherapy. Okay. And so even during that time, I mean, it was, the odds were stacked against me. Yeah. Um, but, you know, by God's grace, I, I uh, got out. And uh, prior to that, I had so many goals and things that, um, that I had. And what you realize in life, and, and I think many people even watching this will know, things don't always go according to plan. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you just kind of stay the route and, and keep fighting and get through, then, you know, sometimes things happen in, in ways that even are better than you might have even planned. And so that was the first time. And then five years after that, I ended up relapsing. Um, mm -hmm. And then after the relapse, I had a few other um, health hiccups and other things that, you know, that I count as obstacles that were really just things that I needed to kind of push through and get to where I uh, find myself now. Wow. I mean, yeah, I, 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 had, a, I had a vague understanding, but mm -hmm. that's, I mean, that's really incredible and very inspiring to, you know, I think that's something that l people can really easily take for granted, just right. being healthy and, and then not realizing mm. that your health is your most valuable thing that Absolutely. you have. So diving back into what you were sharing really about your journey as an independent artist, I mean, that is something, it's like a holy grail, or it's like this like, concept that I think people really struggle with, thinking about Hollywood or thinking about how they have to alter themselves, right? You're talking right. about... Right. You're know, maintaining control. Mm -hmm. What has that been like? You I, you mentioned Sony right mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. when we were chatting. And right. can you share? Yeah. So you know, I worked on my debut album, and the objective that I wanted to do or take with with the album was to uh, surround myself with individuals that I trusted mm -hmm. and be able to do it in the way that I felt um, needed to be done. Yeah. And so I brought out. Uh, many songs to the West Coast to work with a producer and work with a team of musicians that were willing to support me nice. and even in the backing of it You know, I did a crowdfunding campaign where a very organic following uh, was able to support me um, through uh, through those memes and mm -hmm. so Yeah, and then eventually um, You know, it was harder, you know, because when you don't have the backing of a major label or a lot of money um, it is much more difficult, but then um, you know where I felt the reached the point that I was happy was mm -hmm. that, you know, I was able to uh, receive a distribution deal um, nice. with Sony Music Global. Um, and that album ended up in Korea and it's been, I guess it's been on like TV shows and Korean dramas and all this stuff, about over 20, I think, in what? the past month and a half. And uh, it's setting me up nicely to go to Korea and do some shows there and all that. So Good for you. Uh, I'm excited, you know, and hopefully more distribution deals will come with the music that I continue to release in the new year. So Good for you. We got um, US, we got Europe, and now we're going to Asia. Yeah, that's the hope. No big deal. <laughs> well, congrats. I mean, that's, that's, I uh, thank you. I'm so glad we got to sit down and talk. Um, where can people find more of your stuff? Um, I have a website. It's jjinmusic.com, J A E J I N music.com. And all of my social media is J A E J I N music. Follow this guy, don't places. Thank I'm you. so glad you got to come chat. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. 
Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out Coffee Break. Please subscribe to the Collaboration channel to get more Coffee Break interviews and also check out our Green Room Music series. You can also check out our website, collaboration.org, for updates on our live events, our blog, and our Collabcast podcast, which is also available on iTunes. Please follow us on social media at Collaboration. Their links are right below. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time.